Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Edmonton, Canada. And this week I'm going to be showing you how to make some really super easy Valentine's cards. Now my daughter is in preschool and they need 20 cards and so I've made them extremely easy. And I'm going to show you how to do them if you want to make maybe Valentine's cards for your kids' classes. So I've made a few and I'll show them to you. So I made that one, I did some watercolor on this one, little ice cream card there, um, another watercolor. I really like to watercolor, um, so I like to incorporate that into my cards, and there's another one there. So today um, I'll make three of them with you on the camera, because um, they are really easy to make. It's not, it's not hard to make them, which is great. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Just grabbing a scrap piece of paper for my greeting, which I, I forgot to do. So um, I'm basically trying to use up all of my scraps. That's my goal today. And so these are gonna be a random paper, um, old paper, you'll see everything here. And the point is to use what you have on hand. Like, don't worry about if you don't have something, okay? So I'm going to start with this card, and it's up to you. These are very vanilla card bases, three by three, okay? Um, so this side is six, this side is three, scored in the middle at three, and that makes it a really tiny three by three card. Now know your audience. You know, like for me, these are preschoolers. They're not really going to care about, um, you know, the card being super fancy, um, the point of this is to be easy, but cute and special, right? So this is a scrap I had. <laughs> it's uh, the cone of the ice cream builder punch right here. So I'm going to use that on one of my cards. And then I had this paper left over from Christmas. So I'm like, hey, like uh, ice cream cone from here would look really nice, I think. And so I'll show you. We're just going to go in here and punch this out and I'm gonna put that back up there you're gonna grab your tape runner or you can use liquid glue too whatever whatever is easiest for you I'm gonna keep them both out uh, you're gonna glue your cone down onto your ice cream just like this and I am actually, I don't know, should I use dimensionals? Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Then I have these hearts. Um, this is from the new rainbow stamp set. It's called Rainbow of Happiness. And I had these little hearts. So I'm like, okay, it's Valentine's. We have to incorporate some hearts. So we're going to use that. Um, and then I'm going to do a little splash of watercolor around here. So what I'm going to do is use cherry cobbler. I've already got a little bit of watercolor there. And now remember, this isn't watercolor paper. So you want to be, you want to use as little water as possible. So I'm going to bring my water over here just so you can see what I'm doing. You want to get your paintbrush nice and wet. Now, if you only have water painters, that's completely fine. You can use whatever you have, but I like using an actual brush. So we're gonna get some water going in here. And the best thing to do is to have a scrap piece of paper to test and see what this is gonna look like. So load your brush up with paint. Um, you always wanna go to the side and kinda go like this to get all the excess water off. Test it on here to see the color. To me, that's looking a little bit dark still so I'm going to lighten this even more by adding more water into here okay load it up sweep it off on the side check the color I like that much better so um sorry I'm just gonna put that there okay so I'm gonna hold my ice cream down don't be intimidated by this just do it it has to be kind of just random you don't want it to look like you tried really hard. And really, you don't wanna try super hard to do this, like, it's pretty easy. There, 
that's it. So I'm gonna rinse off my brush and just let it dry on the side. And before I do anything else on this card, I'm just gonna dry this off. So I'm gonna use my heat tool to dry it. And the best thing about that is that you're not gonna get any stains or like watermarks or anything if you dry it right away. So we're gonna dry it, just put it on the low setting, let it heat up, and then just put it directly, oh, sorry, I know you can't see there. Just put it onto the card and dry it. And when you see that it's not shiny anymore, that means you're done. Okay, that's it. So that was the whole point of not using a ton of water. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue your ice cream cone down. And again, I'm just gonna use my crafter's tape for that. And kind of go over however you want it to look, just like this. And then I'm gonna grab my cherry cobbler again. This time I'm gonna stamp my hearts. I kind of just want them to be here like this and here. And then I'm going to grab my You're So Cool, also from the ice cream stamp set. And we're just going to stamp that. Make sure you get it nice and inked up and put it right there. Like this. And there you go. You have a cute little Valentine's card. I'm also going to stamp the inside with some hearts there. Oops. And, oh, oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp the envelope as well. So we'll grab the envelope. And stamp. Okay, so here's card number one. And just like that, you're done. Now we're going to move on to number two. I'm just going to clean off my stamps from the cherry cobbler. This is the chamois. Great to clean things off with. And let's grab the second one here. So this one's going to be in Rococo Rose. Um, and an old, another old piece of scrap paper here. So the first thing you wanna do is cut this with your trimmer. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and cut your paper. I'm gonna cut it at three. Didn't fully get that there. Okay, um, and then pick which part of the paper you want to use. I'm just getting my die cutting machine down here. I'll zoom out a little bit here so you can see. So I'm going to grab my paper and my die from the Bouquet of Love. Um, dies and embossing folder. Set your heart down. Oh, make sure your plates are straight and then just run it through. Just like this. Okay. So there's my heart. I'm just going to put this back. Okay. This is going to go 
on your card. Again, decide how you want it to be on there. I'm just gonna do it like that. Oh, and it's blue on the other side. That might be pretty too. Maybe I'll do a blue one later. But for now, I'm gonna do the pink. You could put this on dimensionals, but again, just remember your audience. If you're giving it to not a preschooler, it might be nice to, you know, jazz it up a bit, but preschool doesn't really matter. Then I'm gonna grab my Rococo Rose ink pad. And I want some hearts here. And maybe up here. And then one on the inside, like that. And I really like this because I get to use up my product and still make something for my daughter's class, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna grab my scrap piece of white. And on this one, we're gonna stamp, the thing I like about you is everything. This is from the Special Moments stamp set. Um, and you can get this for free right now if you spend $120 with Stampin' Up. It's a nice one, I really like it. Okay, so you're gonna get this, ink it up. Um, I'm gonna stamp it right here in the corner, just like that. And then we're gonna cut it out. And I'm just gonna cut it straight out, nothing fancy. Make sure you get nice and close to the greeting. You don't want it to be super big. I think I went a little crooked there, but that's okay, because I can fix it. there just like that and this is gonna go on right over here now this part I am gonna put on dimensionals just cuz why not right jazz it up a bit peel those off this is a it's an old sheet that I've kind of cut up, so they're a little bit not, they're not regular round shape. Okay, so this, I'm gonna put it on, I think right here. The thing I like about you is everything. I love that. Okay, so that one's done. Just grab the envelope and do the hearts on the outside of that. Just like this. And there you go. There is card number two. So I'll actually leave these up here for you. I guess you can't see them there. I'll put them there so you can see what they look like. There. And then, the last one we're gonna do is gonna be a watercolor heart. Um, I'm just gonna clean off my stamps again. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend them. I'm just gonna move those to the side. Get some of this garbage out of the way. I'm not gonna need my glue anymore. And you're gonna grab your last card base. Where did I put it? Um, right here. And this one's gonna be super easy, you guys. Okay, so you're gonna put the heart on however you want. I think this one, maybe I'll do 
yeah, I'm gonna do it this way, just like this. And for this, I'm actually gonna use watercolor paint because I have it and it's easier. So if you have a palette, use that. If you wanna use your Stampin' Up! inkers, you can do that as well. So again, you're going to ink up or get your brush nice and wet. Okay, ink up the color you want to use. Um, me, I'm gonna use, I believe, let's see here. I'm gonna use this blue over here, or no. I will use this blue right here. So I'm gonna ink it up, get lots of paint on there. Do this on the side of my thing, test my color. It's a little dark. So when your color's a little dark, you just keep rinsing it off until you get down to the color that you want. And when I say rinse it off, I don't mean rinse it off a bunch. Okay, there, I think I'm good with this color. So get as much excess water off of there as you can. You're gonna hold down the heart. Um, I like to do it like this, just cause it's easier for me. So I'm gonna start doing your watercolor. And when you're watercoloring, you want to want to try and move quickly. So I'm going to do it in two colors and so I'll do my blue again down here and then we're going to put the green kind of in the middle. I'm just going to grab a touch of that and do this. There. And there. Okay, rinse off your brush completely. Grab some green. I'm using like a lime granny apple green here. Um, test your color, rinse it off if you need to, to get the color you want. There. And then you're just gonna go in the middle. If it touches, it's okay. The whole point of watercolor is that it bleeds. And that's the whole fun of it. So if it bleeds a little bit, you're okay. It's not the end of the world. And then we're gonna do green at the bottom here too. I didn't re-ink that because I just don't even need to. And then just rinse off your brush, okay? So I'm gonna lift this up very gently, okay? You get a heart that kind of looks like that, and we're gonna dry it off. So there is my heart. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is do some splatter, okay? I already have my paintbrush here. So I'm just gonna wet it a tiny bit, get a tiny bit of blue on there, mix it up, and then just, just a little bit, just for texture, okay. Rinse off your brush. And you can just let this dry. That's probably the best thing to do. And the last thing you're gonna do is stamp it. So to me, this looks kind of like Pacific Point. And so I'm gonna grab my Pacific Point and ink up the same stamp. The thing I like about you is everything and you're gonna stamp it on there. I'm just gonna see, where did I? Oh, 
Or actually, if you don't want to go right on there, just do it on one of these, like another piece of scrap. I think that's what we'll do. Just like that. And then cut it out. And then this is gonna go on right here. So I am gonna do it again with dimensionals. Just grabbing them here. And you don't have to use a lot of these, you guys. It's just very little. And let's get it on there. Now I'm not gonna dry the spatter just because um, I have time to let it dry. So I will. And you can put this wherever you want. If you feel like you've messed up somewhere, you can put it there. I'm just gonna put it here. I don't ever think you can mess up watercolor because it's supposed to look all weird and blotchy. It's not supposed, well, not blotchy, but it's not supposed to look perfect is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, so there's that. We have one last envelope to do. Um, I'm going to do the hearts on there in Pacific Point. Let's make sure it's right, yeah. And I'll also stamp inside here quickly just like that and there you go guys so there you go three really easy valentine cards if you want to make them at home for your kids you don't want to go buy the cheap valentine cards well they're not cheap but you know they're kind of tacky and if you want to use up your materials here you go here is an idea for you so I hope you've liked that. Um, if you decide to make these, please tag me. If you've liked this video, please subscribe. And I will be back next week to show you something different. Have a good weekend. Bye.